YouTubers, Mike Martin's here with the Mike Martin's channel. Guys, I got some incredible news. Sit back, relax. You're going to enjoy this. If people that know me or know of me or have been following me, guys, I made the dirty again. I'm on the dirty again. I don't know if you guys remember the dirty. Well, I was on it before, and um, I'm surprised. I mean, I'm not, I'm not surprised. There's a lot of people in this town that hate me very much. So here it is. I made the dirty once again. Here we go. And so they changed my name, but that's obviously that's me, and that's my FC Porto shirt. Um, Michael Martin's narcissist hiding in a small town merit. And there's a cool photo of me on this, actually. I really appreciate that. So here it is from 12 weeks ago. Someone sent me, sent me this uh, a link to this this morning. And I guess somebody is watching, uh, reads this, uh, I guess. Uh, it's not really celebrity smut. It's just people they want to smear. So when, let's say I'm trying to find a job. They would type in my name. Instead of my YouTube, like, stuff coming up about me, this stuff comes up first. This, first and foremost, this becomes, like, number one on their searches, right? So here it is. The Dirty Army. Only recently did I discover that the narcissist, Michael Martins, came to our community because of the problems he had created for himself in the Lower Mainland. Okay, so if I've created my problems for me, like, from where I moved from in Vancouver, why the hell... When I have a YouTube channel posting three videos a day and just talking about random stuff. And here, come to my address, 1925 Colchina, here in downtown Merritt at my store and see me. Why the hell would I do that if I was... So anyways, he was forcibly removed from networking one of his primary products by a majority of adjudic ad adjudicators that refused to work with him and his attempts to abuse other competitive businesses around him. Although he originally had no intention of reintegrating that product into his new business by his own admissions in his videos he posted. Okay. It quickly became his focus once the abuse started against me. Okay. He came to merit to clearly steal my ideas. He is always finding ways to undermine my business. In return, I just simply flip him the bird, flip flip him and his wife the bird. I'm, I'm very used to reading that. Uh, I'm trying so hard to expose him to the local community. He laughs and hoots at, at wearing, being harassed and stalked and a, 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 a listing in the dirty army as badges in his fight against anyone who dares post a bad review that he can emotionally deal with. So guys, check out the bad reviews I have on Google Maps. It's actually very interesting. It all traces back to another business. All I'm trying to do is figure out who's been writing these reviews and why I'm getting so many one stars in one day and then the same one traces back to somebody else. And then, and then somebody's sister's writing reviews that's never been in the store. All kinds of stuff, right? Uh, calls me guilty of social media crimes that I simply have no time for in which I have numerous alibis for. If anyone cares to check, okay. Uses his pregnant wife or dying father. So he uses my dad in this, okay. And his kids and clients who frequent his store as justifications claiming they are also victims in this conspiracy and reason enough for the abuse he hands out. He also owes his supplier thousands of dollars and went bankrupt at least three times now. All of, all of it is a charmingly pitiful way to promote a business because undoubtedly he only, uh, the only dissent business he does is the oh, decent, sorry, dissent. Decent, the only decent, sorry, I'm reading this through the phone. Business he does is online where he could hide behind the computer display. Um, but that's, uh, the opposite, because when you're selling online, there's a lot of fraud that happens from people that purchase, and it's so easy to get bad reviews online from people shopping online. That's just my experience. That's just me. People who visit him from out of town become a grand event, only because there are only very few and others. So let's take a look at this. i actually been tracking my November sales here. So here it is here. Sales from November, Merit. That's how many sales I made in November for Merit, Okay. That's how many sales I made from Kamloops, Kelowna, Princeton, and southwest, southwest of Hope, BC. So that's the lower mainland. So I don't get local business, but I do get every other business. So I'm not sure exactly become a grand event only because there are very few others. 
A good portion of his store's reviews online come from people who have never been to Merit, and it's easy to pick them out as his YouTube followers since they respond to his narcissistic abuse with negative reviews on my sites. So I've never told anyone to go out and write a negative review. Uh, it's not about that. It's trying to find out who are these people that are harassing me. I gave him my address to come and see me. Stop messaging my customers. Stop messaging my wife. Stop messaging people. You know what I'm saying? Just just come and see me. Like whoever this is, Mary Gilroy, Alfred, Diane Bronson, just come here and see me. Like just if there's a problem, you've never obviously been in my store. It is a very depressed climate here in Merritt for businesses and has been for many years. At one point, I was engaged in trying to revolutionize that by bringing in new business. I, president of the Chamber of Commerce, however, that flattered quickly with loyalties were thrown aside and that abu the abuse started. Certainly, we don't need this kind of acidic narcissism. But I stopped caring when long time ago associates chose the wrong side of integrity. We need to shut this guy down before he gets back to his to his old ways. So guys, I've been on the dirty. This is the second time I'm on the dirty already. This is from 12 weeks ago. I just received that. So it's 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 this thing in, in, in this town. It's like, don't, like, luckily I do well in this town because, again, a lot of my business comes from from out of town. Locally, I get a lot of people like selling me stuff or trying to sell me stuff. And here it is right here. So sell stuff, merit. So people trying to buy wires for systems. So people would come in. This is last month. So this is how many people try to buy wires for me. Like uh, I'm missing a wire for my this or I've got a wire or somebody gave me a system and I don't have wires for it, right? And then this is people trying to sell me stuff, right? So if I could convert this into sales, that would be good for business. But I don't think that's going to happen here locally, which is fine. It's okay. And that's why I've reached out to other communities and advertised in other communities uh, to build my business so I could have a nice, healthy, like, you know, walk-in business and, and, and deal with the public and stuff. So this, this has been going on for so many years now. And I'm getting sued for being harassed, too. And I got a cease and desist, very illegally written, very illegal. And all this other stuff that's been ha been handed my way for simply opening a business in Merit. And that's why I tell people, I've had so many people come through Merit to ask me about, you know, I'm thinking of moving here and I want to open a business. I'm like, don't open ever, ever open a business in this town. Do not open a business in this town, ever. Because you will be a target from somebody. Somebody will target you that doesn't like you or thinks that they're taking away their business or whatever. So I made the dirty again. And I'm actually pretty excited about this because it's not every day you get, you know, you get, you get uh, uh, posted, uh, slandered on the dirty. But that's okay. It is what it is. And then what, what can anyone do about it? It is what it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll talk soon.